Welcome back to another video here on Flat Tech, and this is the LG G6, and this is also wrapped in my favorite wrap, which is Black Carbon from Stuck Wraps. And you can go on for your own mobile device, or laptop, or tablet, or whatever else you might have, by heading over to slickwraps.com, and at checkout using code ANTHONY, which that'll get you $5 off that purchase. But I also did a review on this phone just about a week ago, it'll be in one of these corners as a card when you actually watch the review. But this feature is the USB Type-C. There are many types of USBs like USB-A, just to name one, and also micro USB. And then also something called Thunderbolt, which is more of an advanced version, which we'll take a look at also in the video. But let's go ahead and take a look at USB-C. So you might be asking, what is USB Type-C? Well, USB is a huge industry since it's used in so many devices like smartphones, laptops, and tablets. So it's becoming a new standard connector for transmitting both data and power. Now, just like Apple's Lightning port, which I'm sure you've heard of, came out a few years ago and it started with the iPhone 5 and you can flip it horizontally and it'll still go in but micro USB which is more frequently used on Android and most other devices is now aging and it can only go in one way since it is more trapezoid shaped and not to mention it kind of sucks since it is so limited so now comparing USB-C to micro USB and then into lightning USB-C is also oval shaped just like the lightning port or micro USB is more trapezoid now with that being said USB-C and lightning port since they're being oval that means you can flip it horizontally and it'll still go in to the charging port wherever it's going into. Now there are many default protocols and different variations for each USB. Now you might have heard of a USB 3.1 or 3.0. Now what the differences are is that 3.1 on USB-C standard can offer 10 gigabytes per second and yes gigabytes per second and it also comes something called Thunderbolt which is new Thunderbolt 3 which now offers 40 gigabytes per second which is a lot of data. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. But USB 3.1 is now in the USB-A and USB-C form factor. Now they're both developed around the same time, but that's what that blue label might be on your USB wall adapter or also your laptop. So if you ever wonder what that blue sticker was, now you know what it is. Now USB-C can transfer 10 gigabytes per second, and that is good and all, but it can also give you power. So the new MacBook 2016 has all USB-C ports. Now some are for video and not all created equally and they may not be all connected to the graphics card. But for LG's new 5K monitor, which is in partner with Apple, has all Thunderbolt 3s. So when you talk about that, you can then daily chain the monitors. So you, all you need is the monitor being connected into the wall for power. And then the monitor, you can run a USB Thunderbolt cable from the monitor then into your MacBook. And then that will then charge the MacBook while also sending the video feed back to the monitor. Then if you want to get fancier, you can then daisy chain the monitors together by adding a USB-C Thunderbolt 3 from the one monitor into the next monitor. And then that'll also keep adding more video. And you can have up to five of those connected with Apple's new MacBook from 2016. Now, probably the most useful and what more people are going to be gravitating towards is USB-C Thunderbolt 3. Since it can transfer 40 gigabytes per second and it also decreases power consumption and it can also transfer up to 100 watts of power. So that could be from that LG monitor into the MacBook or anything else you might have. So 100 watts of power is actually a lot of power when you're talking for a laptop. So this has really big potential for Thunderbolt 3. And that's going to wrap up the video over USB-C and also Thunderbolt 3. So hopefully now you have a better understanding to what the two are and how they can be featured in the next phone like the LG G6 and the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. And as always, stay classy.